Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes, some cheap film action, baby, without the drama. Okay, people, I've been working and I've been thinking, and I'm going to take some of y'all's advice. I am going to, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to pin this back edge. I'm going to put a pin through there. I got me three-quarter hunk of plywood. Can you see that down there? I'm gonna try that for my uh, hook on my servo too. I'm putting an 8711 on this flap. I'm gonna see if that will work all right. If that don't work, I got these blocks. These are my backup blocks. Right there, they join together. So I can put a horn in there just in case I don't like that. There's too much slop, something. That's thick enough. If you get them thick enough, you can do that, and it works out all right. We're going to try it, but I'm going to put a pin in the back. I'm going to put two hinges up front here, and I'll be able to hinge that outside of the wing. Okay, got these ready to glue together. Actually, there ain't going to be much inside there. They're going to be light, light, super light. Uh, man, I wish I could glue them together with five-minute epoxy. <laughs> yeah, you probably could, but I'm going to use the slow stuff. But these are ready to take out of the bag. And I think, I think I am going to do, but I'm glad I took the time because I learned on how it's something I need to do to my wood. And uh, I'm just going to open this one end because I'm going to save these bags and reuse them. Bam. One aileroni. Well, these pockets you don't stick to the bag at all. Use that to lay up more aileroni. Know what I mean? There, Vern? Okay, and there ain't gonna be much in here either. A couple pieces of wood for the engine, and and uh, I'll be able to glue it right together. Man, in there where I left that resin thick is where it's hard to get out. Stop pulling up. See, that's what I don't want to do. That's what this guy on his other shoulder is telling you. You guys watching this? He's staring off into space again. Bam!
all that epoxy right off. I made a mess on these edges. Bam, look at that, clean. Didn't cut, just a poke. Ain't even bleeding. No panic. <laughs> I know y'all's waiting for the day where I need some stitches. <laughs> you gonna be waiting a long, long time. Well, there ain't going to be hardly nothing in these, and yet they're going to be just hard and rigid and super light. I think it's going to be like holding air. You know, hold these things. Here on the edge, this where it gets a little tricky. Pizza guy tonight, I don't want to take the time to cook dinner. I hope y'all got your Christmas shopping done. I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas without no drama. Can't have no drama with the family, guys. Gotta keep peace with the family. <laughs> Just gotta put up with old Uncle Jack once a year. It ain't gonna kill you. <laughs> I know everybody's got an Uncle Jack. I got an Uncle Jack, man. My dad's brother. Oh, yeah. That is Uncle Jack. I always tell him, I said, he's, he's the reason I watch Cops. You know that TV show Cops? Because I know he's going to be on there one of these days. And I just hope he has clothes on. <laughs> what he is. He's a, he's a character, man. He's a garbologist. I invented that word, by the way. He's a garbologist, is a professor in garbology. <laughs> meaning, meaning one who collects trash. <laughs> <coughs> He's a character. So when you just get too annoyed with the old in-laws, just go sit down by the cute pooter and watch it some Bob TV. Take a couple deep breaths and go back in there, man. It'll be alright. <laughs>